Hey yo people, what's up? It's your boy. And in this video, we are going to tier 2 my Captain America. I know I'm late to the party, is. And today Square Enix launched its first Marvel Avengers game for PC, PS4 and Xbox. Go check it out. It's a fantastic game. And I'm gonna be streaming about it maybe if you guys want it. Tell me in the comments down below and I'll stream it if you guys want. One more thing I wanted to ask you guys before we get to the point of the video is that if you guys want videos to be shorter than 15 minutes or lo uh, longer than 15 minutes, tell me about it. I'll make a poll on it or something. So, otherwise, just tell me in the comments below and like, share the video. Let's get started. And this is my Captain America. He is a tier one. We've been having fun with him at tier one. And I just have a bare bones build on him. I haven't leveled up any of his skills except Heroic Fury. I'm not tempered with Captain Hitman, as you guys know, I can have. Oh, sorry. I was trying to roll a, an ISO 8 set for him. That was good enough. I had Hawk's Eye, but I thought that it wasn't good enough, so let's try and roll one. Nah, that's not good. That's right. Hey, you guys, one more thing. Don't give any character prints of lies. It's a trash ISO set. Stark backing is not good enough either. No. So I'll I want to keep the bare minimum 2.5 million on me to advance him. Yeah. Let's see what we can get and do with it. Otherwise, I'll roll it off camera and share with you guys. Yeah, we can get it. I'll roll it on off camera. Now here we go. Let's cheer to this guy. Now always the I mean, all the Avengers are half off characters, so you can just basically cheer to them the normal way using the resources and don't use it. Don't ever use a ticket on them because ha they're half of in everything the cost of the bios most characters cost tier uh, 150 bios to tier 2 and they cost 300 known stones 800 black animator and 1000 chaos known stones so yeah just tier 2 these guys normally i know it costs a lot of gold but it is what it is let's do this woohoo we got tier 2 Captain America and his tier 2 passive gives him super armor and all defenses yeah he's already tanky man he's already a tank increases skill damage by 30% and increases bonus damage by 25% good decreases all damage received by 25% that's good yeah, we can work with that. So, he gets a huge bump in HP. He has quite a quite good physical defense. And his physical attacks also gets a bump. Almost 3000. Yeah. His physical attack almost gets 3000 more. So, yeah, his it's good. He's also one of those characters Avengers assemble. I was talking about that he is also one of those characters who gets pretty um, high raise from tier three, 2 to tier 3. Yeah, I think after Captain Marvel or Thor, he's second or third in the line. Yeah, let's check it. So, we're running with the bare bones kit. I gave him this obelisk because it has a prod and it would be good for PvP. P, mostly because no. if I have stun immunity another character won't be able to stun lock me and Spidey won't be able to have me 
forced on me. So that's good. Should we level up the skill? Yeah. I'm barely leveling them up now. Because I'm really short on gold with the, the while, while doing the epic quest. So bear with me guys, just bear with me. Now let's take him into Robust Ultimate. Ebony is my rule boss. That's pitiful. Utterly pitiful. So, Proxima, you guys know my rate level ain't that high. It's only 26. We're gonna first try level 4. Or let's try 3. Then we're gonna go 5. Then we're gonna go 7. Okay, let's do this. Should we get him a team up? Yeah, let's get him a team up. We're gonna go just try strikers with us cause technically it will not matter that much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it won't matter that much. But it'll just help us speed the process and not make this video too long. Also guys, another unboxing is coming up, cheap gaming headphones, I would say, or oh, the best bang for your buck, so, wear it out. Man, that's a lot of damage. Always wanna proc on it because his fourth skill, man, that's pretty sweet damage. His fourth skill has more hits than any of his skills. My bad. Let's switch. It. Yeah, I was too engrossed in talking. I didn't even see she was doing the light views. I hate Proxima, man. That's pretty sweet damage. And I'm just face tanking with him. I mean, his Infinity War uniform is good. But it ain't that good. And the individual hits don't have a lot of damage. We got her to her third phase pretty fast. Let's say. Just instinctively tagged by. Sort of happened. And let's see. You guys have been bugging me about buying uh, man's uniform. No man, I'm not gonna buy his uniform. Unless he gets a rework. Man, that's good damage. I'm gonna die. Oh, I did not die. Told you guys, he's a tank. I'm gonna give him some rules in the next video, the next, the next one, maybe. Cause yeah, I don't want to kill her. Ooh, that's pretty good clear time considering I wasn't even playing at all. I was just spamming his skills. You, you guys can see that I wasn't even proking. So let's try stage five. Let's see how he compares to my Minerva. My Minerva can do up to stage 7. I've done a stage 7 with her. And if you guys wanna 
I'll buy her uniform sometime later because I'm I'm just saving up crystals for the uh, the deluxe pack for the epic quest. As you guys can see, I'm almost more than halfway there. I'm at 4,500 crystals, and yeah, but we have 6,600. I'm gonna buy that deluxe pack. Tell me down in the comments below who do you guys want me to pick up for the deluxe pack? Should I buy Magneto's deluxe pack and get Jean Grey? Should I buy uh should I buy Psylocke or should I buy Invisible Woman? Technically I'm leaning towards Invisible Woman because her deluxe packs gives you the extreme boost ISO and uh, four, three or four star obelisks, and we have no way to form that. So let's see who will we pick up. But first, let's check out Captain America. We have DP here for the defense down. Yeah. Yeah, we got the proc. <sighs> That's some disgusting damage, man. Sorry, I had to tap out the the twisters would have snared me. I don't want that. Who do you guys think I should cheer to next? Samurai to dodge the, dodge the spears. No one be open the lightning spears. Come on, Proxima. You old hag. We all know you're gonna die. Why resist, resist so much? Everyone knows you're gonna die. That's some disgusting damage, bro. And we didn't even have a proc on the One good thing with Captain America, you don't have to give him uh, Nick Fury for super armor because he has super armor on his, on his tier 2 passive. So, yeah, and he can shield with the allies, so it's good. Once you tier 3 him, you don't wanna use the tier 3 character to give it to your passive. Still just spamming my skills and he's man. He's putting in the work. I had to switch him out there. Never land in the purple spears because they will penetrate you and they give you a minus rec negative recovery rate so you won't even heal. And even these one pen ones penetrate you. But the purple one will give you no healing. Like for Hulk, if I get penetrated by those spears, I might not die. But I might not be able to heal either. So that's a bad thing. Man, she's resistant too much. As you guys can see, we have we are down to two minutes and like three bars left. I don't want to kill her, but yeah, his damage is super. Now let's have a shot with him in PvP, and let's see what he can do. 
I don't want to make the video too too long. And remember, guys, I don't even have an, an offensive ISO weight set on him. I will get back to it. I'll roll one. But yeah, Hawks, I just wasn't cutting it for me. I don't want my Captain America to be so poor. So let's check him out in PvP. Now you guys also ask me what team I use in timeline battle. I'm in gold, gold league, and I use these th these characters if they are not banned. No character is banned this week, but yeah, they're banned sometimes. Uh, let's switch Captain America out. Who should we switch him out with? My iron hammer has a lot of hits. Let's just go for him, George. Since he's pretty bare bone, I don't think he can do that well. No tier threes, man. I don't have a tier three yet. Oh, then level sixty rescue. And yeah, we can fight this one. Now don't use him on autoplay unless you have him as a tier 3. Do not use him on autoplay. Unless he's a tier 3 in your roster. I'm just gonna kite for 10 seconds. Don't do damage man. Okay. He kited for 10 seconds. I, was, I didn't even touch the D pad, man. Neither did I to touch his skills, but he's still doing pretty good damage. Your rescue. I still like rescue's fifth skill with the, uh, the spirit bomb. If you guys have seen Dragon Ball Z. Oh, he died, but yeah, that was pretty good damage. Now Captain Marvel will bust the way out of him. And that's it for this video guys, if you like what you, you saw, I hope to see you in the next one, Agent Danger out.